Hi, I'm James Porter, and this is the challenge video on how to subtract more than two numbers at once. If you have just watched all of the other subtraction videos and are looking for another challenge, you are in the right place. This will give you a chance to try subtracting more than two numbers at once. This is a little trickier, and having a sheet of paper will be really handy. All right, let's begin. We're going to start by subtracting 57 minus 8 minus 3 minus 6. So we're going to start by forming our first number, like before. So we're going to start with 57, 2, 4, 6, 7, 2, 4. Here's 57. And now we're going to start and subtract 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm going to write down 7 to remember it for later. And then I can subtract 110 and move the 10 ones back because this is the same thing as this was. Just now I have ones to work with, which I need. So starting from 7 now, I'm going to go 8. Now this would be our answer if our question was 57 minus 8, but we also want to subtract 3 and 6. So let's continue minus 3, 1, 2, 3. This would be 57 minus 8 minus 3, but we want to subtract 6 more. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So our answer is pretty simple here. I, I'm just going to write it down for concept, but you can easily tell the answer is 40. And I have my notes up here, and this is what the abacus should look like. Now we're going to try a little harder one. We're going to try 650 minus 45 minus 28 minus 39. And so let's start by clearing our abacus and forming the first number, which is 650. 0 in the 1s, 2, 4, 5 in the 10s, and 6 in the 100s. Now I need to subtract 45, but I have no 1s, so I will subtract 110. And then I can move my 10 ones back and can begin. So I need to subtract 2, 4, 5 in the ones place, and then 4 in the tens. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Now in subtraction, this is a little different. If you don't have any numbers on this side, you don't want to move 10 beads back over. You want to leave it blank. So we're going to leave it blank for now, but eventually we'll need to. But this would be your answer to 650 minus 45, which is 605, which if you checked it on a calculator would be right. Now though, we're going to continue and subtract 28 and 39. So let's subtract 28. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to write a 5 down. And so I have my 5 written in notes. But we need to move 110 over, but we don't have any 10s, so we can't make any more 10s if we don't have any. So we need to make some more 10s first. Let's move 1 100 over, and then we can move 10 10s over. Now we have 10 10s to work with, so we can subtract 110 and create 10 ones. So now we have the same number that we started with. This is the same exact thing as this was. This is 600, and if you do it this way, it's 500 plus 590 plus 10 ones, which is 600, the same thing. But now we're going to continue, because we just left off with 5, we got to continue to 8. So 6, 7, 8, and then we have to subtract 2 for the tens place as well. This here would be your answer to 650 minus 45 minus 28, but we still want to subtract 39 yet. So let's continue. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm going to cross off this 5, write down 7 for later, and now I can subtract 110 and move these 10 back. And continuing from 7, I can count to 9. 8, 9. And now our ones place is complete, but we have to continue and subtract 3 for 39. And so we can t subtract 1, 2, 3 from the tens place, and now we have our answer. 
I'm going to write this one down again. It's a little larger, still fairly easy to see, but still a little larger. Two, four, five, one, two, three, two, four, six, eight. So this, after subtracting those three numbers from 650, we have an answer of 538. And this is what the abacus should look like. Again, my notes are up here. All right, we're gonna do one more before I let you off to go and try multiplication. We're gonna try, this one is gonna be a little trickier than both of those. We're gonna try 940 minus 229 minus 420 minus 109. All right, let's start by forming the first number. And if you haven't already, clear your abacus so we can start. We're gonna start with zero in the tens to four in the, zero in the ones, four in the tens, and nine in the hundreds. So now we have 940, and we need to subtract 229. Well, we need to get rid of, we can subtract 110 and bring our ones back so that we can have ones to work with again. But this is the same number as we started with. So let's begin by subtracting nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now we're gonna subtract two in the tens place and two in the hundreds place. This would be the answer to the problem 940 minus 229, but we wanna continue and subtract 420 and 109 from that as well. So we're gonna start with 420. There are zero ones, so we don't have to worry about that. And we can move one 10 bead over. Since we ran out of beads, we need to write down the one. Then we can move, subtract one 100 and move 10 tens back and continue. And we need to get to two, so we can go two. And there's that. Then we need to subtract four from the top row, the hundreds, one, two, three, four. Now this would be our answer if we're subtracting 940 minus 229 minus 420. But we have one more number we want to subtract, 109. So let's continue. One, since we have one already, I'm not going to rewrite it down because that would be a little foolish, but if it helps you, you can. All right, since we have one over, now we need to move, subtract 110 bead and move the 10 ones back. This is the same number as this. But now we have, when we do it this way, we have ones to work with. And continue from one, we need to get to nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, now we need to go to the tens place. There is a zero in the tens place, so we can skip over that, and we just need to subtract one. Now here is our answer. Let's write it down to help assist. One, and then two, four, six, eight after the one, and last but not least, two. This gives us the number 182. Again, my notes are up in this corner, and this is what the abacus should look like. Now, I don't have any more problems for you to try with multiple, more than two numbers to subtract, but if you would like more, I bet your teacher would give you some. Now, I'm James Porter, signing off for now, but remember, a broken abacus is no one's best friend, because no one can count on it.